Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I am really excited that you are joining me for day one of the apple cider vinegar challenge. This series is called What the Health? And it's all about what apple cider vinegar can do for your health. It has amazing benefits that outnumber maybe the slightly unacceptable taste, but I have recipes for you that is going to make you taste so much better and make it so you can swallow it. So stay tuned. Every day around 10, somewhere between 10 and 11, I am going to do the live broadcast. Every single day, I am going to give you a health benefit of apple cider vinegar so that you can keep it in your heart, you know what you're doing, you can think about it, and we can get rid of disease or at least make it lessened so that we aren't affected every single day by things that we should not have to deal with. The idea here is to be as healthy as we can and we are gonna optimize your health starting today doing a shot of apple cider vinegar every single day. So here's my quick disclosure. I am Trina Felber. I am the CEO of Primal Life Organics. I am an expert in health, healthy skincare, and I am a nurse as a background. I have done nursing for 23 years. So I am not a doctor. So if you have any medical conditions that you are uncertain of, please consult your doctor before trying this. This does not replace medical direction. Again, I am not a doctor. So let's start. Today's episode is truly based on blind faith. You're going to do a shot with me and it's going to mostly be on blind faith because I'm not going to really give you and dive into the benefits yet today. I want this to be the housekeeping episode. I want to tell you some of the frequently asked questions about apple cider vinegar and and how to manage your apple cider vinegar, how to possibly make recipes. It's gonna be a lot of questions like that. So let me first dive into a little bit of background about apple cider vinegar. It has numerous health benefits and has been used as a healing elixir since 400 BC and was even used by the father of modern medicine, Hippocrates, to treat a multitude of ailments because it has such great antibiotic properties. It has antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral properties all in one. So apple cider vinegar has an acidic pH. Your normal pH is between 7.35 and 7.45. So anything below seven is considered more acidic and everything above seven is considered alkalinic. Disease, including cancer, thrives in an acidic environment. Now, apple cider vinegar for your body is alkalinic. It's going to make you more alkalinic, which is going to help prevent disease. Most foods, and highly because we eat a highly processed diet today, is very acidic and can create an acidic environment in your body. And like I said, all disease and inflammation thrives in an acidic environment. Even though vinegar or apple cider vinegar is acidic, when we take it, it has an alkaline effect inside our bodies. So raw apple cider vinegar is the only vinegar that is alkaline forming to the body. All other vinegars, and this includes white, balsamic, red, etc., are acid forming. But apple cider vinegar, this one is made by Bragg's, has an alkalinic effect in the body. For a health balanced pH, raw apple cider vinegar is one of the best things that you can add to your diet. So my focus today is to talk about the frequently asked questions you might have about apple cider vinegar. The suggestion is that you take it three times a day, 20 minutes before meals for the first two weeks. Then after that, you can take it twice a day before meals. If you're just starting this challenge with me, taking it once a day will have 
benefits for you as well. So don't think that you have to do it three times a day, but if you want maximum benefits, three times a day, 20 minutes before meals will work. Now, I'm gonna be doing this broadcast around 10 or 11 Eastern time every day. Do you have to wait to do your shot with me? No, you can do it first thing in the morning on your own and then join me to find out what the benefits are. Or you can wait and do your shot with me and the staff of PLO every single day. So apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, which has been shown to lower blood pressure up to 6%. It can also eat up the starches if you eat grains in your diet. So if you're not eating a 100% um, grain-free diet, it can actually help eat up the starches in your diet. So today's agenda, or the agenda of every day, is I'm going to announce what day we're on. So today is day one. I'm gonna announce our daily focus of why the health are we doing this, the health benefit of the day. And then we're gonna do the toast of the day to that health benefit, and we're gonna do the shot of the day. And sometimes I'm going to introduce different recipes so that you can vary it if you'd like and just do a trial. It's trial and error. Some things are gonna taste better to some people and some things are gonna taste better to other people. So today, apple cider vinegar is proven to be beneficial in providing relief from ailments and diseases such as acid reflux, arthritis, cancer, obesity, osteoarthritis, gout, skin diseases, high cholesterol, diabetes, gastrointestinal disorders, and other chronic illnesses. And we are going to dive deep during this series about what this does for some of these individual problems, conditions, ailments, whatever you wanna call it. So this is what I need from you. I need your help. I need you to help me with posting. I want you to comment as much as you can. I want to know everything. I want you to hashtag ACV challenge. You can hashtag the mother. You can hashtag what the health. Those are the hashtags we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for pictures. If you can take a picture of you doing the shot of the day or a video, hashtag that. We want to know and we want to share this with the world. Comments, photos, and videos are the ACV challenge mother. Did you get that? The mother is in here. But to spread this around the world and get as many people doing the challenge as possible, hashtagging, commenting, putting photos and videos, that is the mother of this challenge. Can you do it? Are you up to it? I challenge you. So please, in your comments, include, you can include, these are ideas, your location, your reaction, the day of your challenge. If you join me later than day one, that's okay. Start with us. Let me know what day your challenge uh, you are on. The benefits you have noticed in anything you don't like, like the taste, a certain recipe, the whole idea, suggested toast if you have a suggested toast of the day and who's doing this with you get your friends and family and kids you can have your kids this is good for kids as well you just want to give them a smaller amount but my kids did it this morning and they'll do it every day with me you want to tag people tag everyone tag anyone hey listen it's not your responsibility to make someone do this with you it's not your responsibility to get your husband on board it's not your responsibility, but it is your responsibility to give them the information and the opportunity to get healthy. It gives them the autonomy to make their own choice. So I want this to be built as an organic wildfire of health. Are you with me? Can you help me? This is one nurse challenging the world to improve your health in just 10 seconds every day. This is how nurses heal the world, organically and honestly. And it puts the responsibility of your health in your hands. This is not a pill and the pharmaceutical industry does not prescribe this. 
This is for you and you only. You can like every post every day. Help me out. Pull up your big girl panties. Put on your big boy boxers. I am calling you out. Let your friends know. Let your family know. Share this post with everyone. I want to do this around the world. I'm telling you, I know people in Australia are doing this, New Zealand, Canada, Europe, and of course the U.S., but I want to know where you are. Let your family and friends know. Take your health seriously. If we get comments from haters, I'm putting it out there. There are haters in the world. I love the haters. I embrace the haters. You know why? Because they're watching and they're learning. So bring on the hatred and by the end of the challenge, you are going to be a lover. But remember, it's not your responsibility to make someone do this with you, but it is your responsibility to give them the opportunity and giving them the gift of information is giving them the gift of autonomy and self power over their own health. All right. That was a wildfire in itself. I'm telling you, I'm getting lots of love. Okay. So let's start with the questions. Okay. What the health, what the heck is apple cider vinegar anyway? Okay. So it's different from refined and distilled vinegar vinegars. Apple cider vinegar is made from fresh crushed organically grown apples that mature in wooden barrels, which boosts its natural fermentation qualities. When mature, it contains a web like substance that we call the mother. Oh, okay. So tell me what is the mother? The mother is the dark cloudy substance in the apple cider vinegar and it's formed from natural occurring pectin and apple residue. See how cloudy this is? If I flip this over, it's hard to see on camera. You can kind of see how that cloudiness and sediment is at the bottom. That is the mother. It's the natural occurring pectin and apple residue. It appears as molecules of protein connected in strand-like chains. The presence of the mother shows that the best part of the apple has not been destroyed. That's why you don't see it in other vinegars. Vinegars containing the mother contain good bacteria, enzymes, and minerals that are destroyed. Vinegars that do not contain, sorry, vinegars that do not contain the mother do not contain the good bacteria, enzymes, and minerals because they're destroyed by overprocessing, filtration, and overheating. So what is the mother? The mother is the good bacteria, the enzymes, and the minerals that your body needs that's going to help improve your health. And it is the most nutrient nutritious part of the elixir. So let's talk a quick second about why it's not pasteurized. Okay, pasteurization is the heating process intended to remove potential problem bacteria from, from consumable liquids such as milks, juices, and things like that. However, like I said, this process also removes the delicate nutrients and enzymes that may constitute a major portion of the value, food value, that is consumed. Pasteurization, if you pasteurize apple cider vinegar, you would eliminate the mother and eliminate the actual health benefits. So make sure you buy the apple cider vinegar with the mother and it will be raw unpasteurized. So let's talk a little bit about, you've got your bottle and now what do we do? Okay, does it need to be refrigerated? Okay, this is according to Bragg's and they say, no, it does not need to be refrigerated. Just store it out of direct sunlight in a relatively cool location. So you don't need to put it in the fridge. You can just leave it out, but don't put it in direct uh, sunlight. What is the shelf life? So on the shelf, it's around three to five years after they bottle it. However, the product is safe, usable, and effective indefinitely if it's kept out of direct sunlight. Okay, so don't worry if you've got an old bottle, it's probably the mother is just sitting in there brewing and it's probably just gonna be more potent and even better for you because if you brew kombucha, it's the same type of thing the mother will grow. 
I like to tell my kids that. Okay, that's the only way you can clone the mother. <laughs> Sorry, that just came to my head. All right, is it possible to take too much apple cider vinegar? All right, not really. It is recommended that an individual take an apple cider vinegar cocktail three times a day for maximum result. The cocktail will consist of about one tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar mixed with one to two teaspoons of raw honey in a glass of distilled or purified water 20 minutes before meals, three times a day, at least for the first two weeks, and then you can back off to two times a day if you want. You can drink more or you can drink less. You're gonna get more benefits if you do the three times a day. Sometimes I'll make a glass in midday. If I need a pickup, I'll just drink it, okay? So technically, you're not going to harm yourself. You can't drink too much, okay? And it is safe for children as well. Now, you can do a shot of just apple cider vinegar with water, but you can add other things to it as well, such as honey or lemon or cayenne pepper for you hot people out there. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you want to add things and not only for taste, but for the benefits that these other ingredients can offer, such as honey. Honey has proven bioactive properties and it contains the vitamins and enzymes necessary for digestion and metabolism. So I'm telling you, you're, you're gonna take your elixir and turn it into a bullet if you put some other things in it. It doesn't take long. I made a video last night, 1 a.m., made a video of how to make a dose of 10. And if you're taking it for three days, that would probably last you, or three shots a day, that would last you about three days. You can double that recipe, triple that recipe, make enough, it's not gonna go bad. Put it in the fridge once it has honey and anything else you add to it, put store it in the fridge, and then you will have a bullet every day instead of just an elixir. So, can I take it straight? That's a question. Now, there was a post just recently, some woman stated she took it straight and she had a stomach ache, so she almost didn't even do the challenge. Here's the thing, and especially if you're a newbie, I don't recommend taking it straight. I don't even take it straight, and I've been doing this for a long time. And here's why. It's recommended that you dilute it with some water at least, or a little bit of juice. Here's why, apple cider vinegar acts like a sponge and it draws out toxins from your body tissue and it can cause an influx, if you will, of all of those toxins and it can cause you distress, like stomach aches, nausea. You don't, you don't really want that, that's not what you want. You don't wanna purge those toxins that quickly from your body. So let's do it slow. You can dilute it. You can dilute it one to one. You can dilute it two to one. Sometimes for younger children, diluting it two to one is good. Adding the honey sweetens it a little bit. You can also add some lemon. All right, so if you do do a straight shot, you could end up with purging of toxins and a little bit of that nauseated GI distress type of feeling. So that's your warning. Uh, but you do what you want. All right, on the line of who can and who can't do this, I wanna, I wanna talk about pregnancy. I'm going to eventually do a whole series on pregnancy because I think it's a huge topic. It's a great topic. It's when women really are so in tune to their body because they are creating life. So let's talk about pregnancy and the elixir. Is it safe? So here's a fact. Some experts state that women who consume apple cider vinegar during pre pregnancy tend to give birth to babies with excellent chemical pattern ideal ad to adapt and sustain to changing environments. So it's good for your baby. That is what experts are saying. So let's take a look. Okay, so it's unpasteurized. You're not supposed to eat unpasteurized food or drink unpasteurized food uh, during pregnancy, right? Let's talk about this. This is really important. Since apple cider vinegar is unpasteurized, is it protected from the E. coli bacteria? Because E. coli can cause some a lot of problems. So organically, apple cider vinegar does not allow the growth of the E. coli bacteria because the acidity of the vinegar is effective in killing the 0157 H7 strain of the E. coli bacteria. 
There are many types of E. coli, but most of them are harmless. But some of them can cause bloody diarrhea and some strains of E. coli, such as the strain that is not a survivable in um, apple cider vinegar, that the 0157H7, may also cause severe anemia, kidney failure, which can lead to death. So that cannot, that strain cannot survive because of the acidic level of apple cider vinegar. So is it safe to take during pregnancy? Yes. As here's my take. Yes. It is safe to take during pregnancy and after pregnancy. It can help to rid the body of toxins and can even help with any complications that can arise or have arisen with the pregnancy. And it supports regularity and promotes digestion. Those are a lot of problems women that are pregnant, especially further along, tend to have. There is no medical evidence that consuming apple cider vinegar during pregnancy poses any real threat, but it is known that pregnant women do crave its taste. And they say when you crave the taste of something, it's because you're lacking something in your body. So uh, it's a great time to take apple cider vinegar. During Drinking apple cider vinegar during pregnancy offers a ton of benefits as well. So I'm going to go through those because it's really important. You might have a friend that's pregnant and suffering from some of these, and this is a good time to share this with them. They might be able to help themselves out during their pregnancy. It provides temporary relief from annoying ailments that are common during pregnancy. And this includes that it reduces cravings for high-carbohydrate meals. Now, those high-carbohydrate meals can contribute to gestation diabetes okay it can help fight nausea and morning sickness it tastes great during the periods of hormonal imbalances and reduces your cravings for other things that are not so healthy for you it neutralizes blood glucose levels it can re cause relief from constant heartburn a frequent complaint especially during that last trimester of pregnancy and it can help reduce the skin uh, conditions that can arise during pregnancy with topical application. Woo, that was a lot of information. Oh my gosh. So lastly, why is now the perfect time to do the apple cider vinegar challenge? Let me tell you, it's a 30 day challenge. And by the time we end this, we are going to be entering into the new school year. So if you have young children that are in school or high school kids or even college kids, this is the perfect time. Get them involved and let them join in. But even if they don't, for you, it's going to boost your immunity because as school starts, kitty crud grows, right? So you want to prevent getting kitty crud? Now is the perfect time. Um, Melanie just asked, does this stuff help from preventing kidney stones? Yes, it does. So we'll get into that. Stay with me. Do the challenge. I'm going to answer these questions. If you do have any questions you specifically want answered, please type them in the comments. I will monitor this myself and I will be answering them, if not in the comments, on a daily uh, post or a daily live episode. So let's start with today's shot. I made it last night. I um, want to try a couple different recipes. So my challenge is going to be making these recipes, posting these different recipes so that you can alternate what you're using. And again, like I said, um, adding things to it, you don't have to, but adding things to it only increases the nutritional value, okay? So I added honey, which I stated has antibacterial properties in it. So it's really, really good, especially local honey. If you can get your hands on some local honey, man, stick it in there. It's it's awesome. It's going to help with your own allergies, seasonal allergies, because it's all from your own environment. Lemon juice. I added lemon juice because lemon juice helps balance blood sugar and also has an alkaline effect on the body to help regulate your pH. It also is extremely high in vitamin C. So adding things to it can only help not just the taste of it, help it taste better, but it can also help your body function better. So are we ready? 
Are we ready to do the shot of the day? So today I have Aaron. Every day I'm gonna try and get most of the staff of PLO to join me, but today Aaron is the kitchen manor <laughs> manager. She's joining me today for the shot of the day. If you didn't watch the video, we did a video last week of the girls in the kitchen doing their first shot of apple cider vinegar, and it was not a straight shot. It was diluted with water, but it was completely different than this one. So I'm gonna get Aaron's taste in um, her. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring a little bit probably about two tablespoons worth. Now this is our stick up deodorant cap. So if you get the stick up, don't throw the cap away. It works great as the shot of the day shot glass. And you can take it with you, pack it with you, or just use the one that's on your deodorant when you're traveling. Uh, you can find apple cider vinegar anywhere. So when you're traveling, you definitely need to do this. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Let's cheers. do it. Day one. Was that good? That's good. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has like a sweetness. Guys, but, yeah. This one, really yeah, good. with the honey, mm -hmm. it's not as pungent. Mm -mm. It goes down smooth. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the um, amount of water. You can adjust the amount of lemon. You can adjust the amount of honey to your own taste or the, to the taste of your kids. My kids did this this morning and my one son did three shots. Yeah, I think my kids <laughs> would take that. Yeah, and you could definitely pour this, dilute it down a little bit more in some water. And drink it through the day as a as a little drink so this is day one guys I want to really quick do our word of the day so Erin what was your word today yes oh my gosh say yes <laughs> that was perfect <laughs> that awesome say yes so you can either choose to say yes mine is gratitude and guys I'm so gracious you're with me I am so gracious I get to do this as a nurse to help everyone around the world. This is just an extension of my nursing career and I am so grateful that you are with me. So join us every day, share your photos, share your pictures, your, your videos, share your ideas, and let's get healthy together. Cheers. We'll see you tomorrow, day two, where I'm gonna start talking about the benefits one by one, and every day you are going to feel better, I promise. Until tomorrow, see ya. Have a great day.